Hi there, Mr. Nelson here for the industrial tech classes. And uh, today I'm gonna to be going over the table saw. So I'm gonna turn down the uh, screen a little bit so I can show you about how to operate the table saw. All right, uh, when you first come up to the table saw, this is the front of it, the sled slides back and forth. Uh, which we're going to be using later on, but right now just to show the operation and how to turn it on. As you see, there are no lights on here or anything. So to activate the saw, the first thing you need to first do is turn it on underneath. See, there's a green light and a flashing red light that's going through, and it, the saw will only work when it's a solid green light. So now it's ready to go. So if I pull this paddle out, that turns the saw on. If I lightly tap that with my knee, that turns the saw off. Again, you see there's now a flashing green light. So the uh, saw can't work. Now it's solid green. It can work. I'll pull this on again. If I turn this off and try to turn it on again, nothing happens because it wasn't solid green. So I have to wait now, it's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between the two. So I just have to turn that off. And now the saw will operate. All right, next part of the video, I'm gonna show you how we make cuts. All right, this is the sled of the table saw, which I showed you earlier. This goes back and forth. And on the sides here, on either side, there's a tape measure. This one reads from zero going out this way all the way out to 23 inches. This one goes from zero going out this way. So a tape reading from left to right and one reading from right to left on either side. So you don't need to mark out your pieces. Say if you wanted to make a five inch cut, I would just line it up over here with the five inches. I can line it up on this side or on this side with the five inches, it doesn't matter. It would still make a five inch cut. So I'm gonna move the camera back and then I'll make some cuts for us on the saw. Now I have a piece of wood in here and I can either line it up for my five inch cut either right here on this side or I could slide it all the way over so that it's five inches on this side. Both of them are five inches from the, from the blade right there. It doesn't matter. But for ease of viewing, I'm going to move this over here. So I line this up at five inches. I then am going to hold it firm down with my left hand with my thumb behind the fence area and holding the piece. While I'm doing that, I'm going to reach down and turn on the saw blade and move my right hand back up here and slide it through, make my cut, slide it back. Turn it on. Now I slide my two pieces apart. This one goes away and here's my five inch piece very accurately cut. Key thing with the table saw is you just want to make sure that you're not putting your fingers underneath the guard here as the blade's turning and that this sled can come all the way off. But if you keep it here on the table, you should be fine. Lastly, you can only go so far. There's a stop on this side that prevents it from going forward. So that's the table saw. Come and ask me if you have any more questions.